This is the home page of the shopping cart. First of all, we can log in. We can log in with Google accounts. Okay, right now we have login and we can try to find some t-shirts. Okay, we can see two t-shirts has been added to the card. The total number is total price is 28.8. The card number on top is two. And we can also try to buy another one. Okay, we can see the shirt is also being added to the card. And we can also create our own pictures by loading some picture on top of it. Like Okay, this should also be added to the card. The total number right now is six. Six. And we can try to search some picture on the internet by using some RESTful API to bring some picture from the internet. Maybe we can try to search like lion. So this pictures about of lion has been bring from the internet to our website. More picture is loading. Maybe we can choose this one. Okay, this one has been added to on top of the shirt. Maybe you can buy one. Choose the size. Okay, the shirt about lion has been added to the card. The total number on the card is seven right now. And we can try to bring some other pictures. Maybe we can choose two dogs. Picture of dogs have been bring from the internet. Okay, we can choose this dog. And the dog shirts have been added to the card. The total number of the shirts on the card right now is eight, and the total price is one hundred and forty-eight. And maybe we can try to log out. As we log in again, we find all the shirts are still there. There are eight shirts on the card. We can see all of them are still here because all the information has been stored on the database.